Hola, it's Senora Huey, and it's time for Spanish. Now let's get warmed up with what? Buenos dias, buenos, ready? Let's go. Buenos dias, buenos dias, como estas, como estas? Muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted? Afternoon, tardes? Let's try it. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes, como estas, como estas? Muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted? And the last one, uh, good evening or good night, noches. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Como estas, como estas. Muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. All right, now that we're all warmed up, let's start off with our conversation, okay? So how do you say hello? Okay, how do you say what's your name? All right, then how do you say, como se dice, my name is? Let's see if you're right. If you say, hola, for hello, correcto. If you say, como te llamas, for what is your name, correcto. And then you say, me llamo, for my name is, correcto. Did you get them all right? Okay, try the second one. Como se dice, how do you say, como se dice, how are you? Okay. Uh, como se dice, Fine, well. Uh, como se dice? Okay, so so. All right? Como se dice? No, not, I mean, not so good, not so good. I gave the answer away. Not so good. All right? And then how do you say goodbye? Let's see how you did. All right, class, if you said, how are you? Class, como esta? Como estas? Well or fine, bien. So so, okay. Así así, not so good. Mal and goodbye is what? Adios. How'd you do? Excelente. All right, class. Now you're gonna tell me now. You know, gotta do a bit of comment. We got a little bit of speaking every day. So you're gonna tell me that what your name is. You're gonna tell me that you're a girl or a boy, and you're gonna tell me that you're a student at the Ready Academy. Okay, let's. It goes like this. I'm going to use my name, okay? I'm going to say, hola, me llamo Senora Huey. Soy una muchacha y una estudiante a la Academia Ready. Okay, you got it? So you tell me your name first. Say, hello, my name is hola, me llamo your name. Then you're going to say, I am a girl or a boy. So if you're a boy, you say, soy un muchacho. If you're a girl, you say what? Soy una muchacha, okay? And, e, e means and, e, una estudiante, una estudiante if you're a girl, or you say un estudiante if you're a boy, a la academia ready, at the ready academy. Got that? Let's try it. Let's go. Okay, let's go with girls first. Hola, me llamo. Say your name. Soy una muchacha y un estudiante a la Academia Ready. One more time, girls. Hola, me llamo. Soy una muchacha y una estudiante a la Academia Ready. Excelente. Let's try our chicos, our muchachos now. Okay, come on, muchachos. Okay, let's. When you're younger, you say chicos. Now you're going to muchacho, okay? All right? You learn chicos, boy. That's also a way to say boy or girl. Chico, chica. Now you use muchacho, muchacha, increasing your vocabulary. Casa de pita. Boys. Hola. Me llamo. Soy un muchacho y un estudiante a la academia ready. Did you get it? Try it again. Hola. Me llamo. Soy un muchacho y un estudiante a la Academia Ready. Excellent, Nick. I so say you do that. You should, you should know that by now, okay? And have it perfectly done. All right, Francie? Let's see. What season? ¿Qué, qué estación está ahora? What se season are we in? ¿Qué estación? Remember, you learned the word for season was what? Right here. Estaciones. Those are the seasons, Okay. Estas, it's a las estaciones. Class, say that for me. Las estaciones, the seasons. Okay, how many do we have? 
cuatro. We have four. Okay, and we on this one right here. We on the winter. Clase de pita. The winter is clase el invierno. Can everybody see that? El invierno. Bueno, dice el invierno. El invierno. El invierno. And what they what they they, they they're playing in the what? You learned that word before. What's snow? Nieve. Good. Nieve. Now that you know what season. So now we left one month and now we're into another month, okay? We're saying goodbye to January and we're going to say hello to February for this month, right? And it's almost over, really. I cross the pizza. Hola, febrero. Adios, enero. Try that again. Hola, febrero. Adios, enero. Good. So your month is what? This month is what? Febrero. Last month. El, el mes que pasado. What was the last month? Enero. Excelente, clase. Excelente. Now, the temperature is going to be kind of cold, so we're going to do a little warming up of our bodies here, clase. So you say, it's cold. I'm cold. It's cold. What are you going to say? I say frío. If it's cold, you say, I say frío. Okay, he's kind of cold, right? I say frío. Muy bien. Excelente. But if I'm hot, what do I say? Ooh, what do I say if I'm hot? What do I say? Hace calor. Hace frío. Hace calor. Yeah, got it. Excelente. Now, here's the good part. ¿Qué pasó en Mar en lunes? What's happening on Monday? Es un día especial. It's a special day. Huh? What's happening? ¿Qué pasó? Ah, it's what? Valentine's Day. So, you wear your beard and whatever, okay? Your white, whatever. So, let's learn some words pertaining to Valentine's Day that you can share with your family and friends, okay? Or, you know, people you know. My clase, repita. Now, let's go with, first of all, you're going to have to love somebody because God loves us and you must love others as well. So, therefore, you can say, I love you. And there are two ways to say I love you in Spanish, okay? You're going to learn both of them, okay, today. All right, so you can use them on Monday. Clase de pita, lunes. That's Monday's lunes. I love you. Clase, easy. Te amo. That's it. Te amo. I love you. You're saying you, I love. is backwards to us, okay? Clase, repeat the clase. Te amo. Or... You want to say show off a little bit, use the big one. Te quiero. Try that one. Te quiero. All right. So how do we say it? The first one is easy. Te amo. And the other one is a little bit more difficult, but that's when you really know your Spanish too. Clase, te quiero. I love you. Mm -hmm. Well, bien. Now, clase, what's that? It's a kiss. All right. Now, clase, you want to say what? Beso. 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 Good. What is it? So if I do this, you're going to say beso. Excelente. Now, I left off one letter here because it should be abrazo. I left off my A. Sorry. I said abrazo. Well, abrazo. And I already do this. I said abrazo. Abrazo. So if abrazo, I want you to give yourself a hug or you're going to hug somebody that you know well. Okay. You can't hug anybody. Somebody, you know, your, your parents or whatever. You can hug them anytime. I say abrazo. Abrazo. Give us a big abrazo. Beso. I love you. Te quiero or te amo. Excelente. Now, one thing you need to know how to say is how do you say Valentine's Day that I'll put happy in front of that, okay? Let's learn how to say Valentine's Day first, okay? Valentine's Day is, class say, let me see what you can do with this. Okay, let's see if you did it right. Dia de San Valentin. Accent here, accent here. Your voice goes up. Dia de San Valentin. Okay, now if I want to say happy Valentine's Day, I'll put happy in front of that. And that's feliz. Cause say feliz, like feliz año nuevo, feliz navidad, the same one. Feliz means happy, or okay, merry. I right, cause say feliz día de San Valentín. Muy bien. I right, say feliz día de San Valentín. Okay, now you can tell them happy Valentine's Day. Now, what are the colors? ¿Qué colores son de el día de San Valentín? What are the colors for Valentine's people most of the time wear? Well, the, the main two, there are others, but the main two will be what? Uh, what colors are they? Rojo y blanco or roja y blanca, depends what you're wearing. Okay, clase. Now, clase red and white. Rojo y blanco. Or you can say roja y blanco, depending on what you're wearing. Because in Spanish, everything is either masculine or feminine. But we're going to always do the masculine first. Clase. Rojo. E blanco. Excellent. Your colors there, right? Well, now, this is something that I really love. Ooh, me amo mucho. Ooh, classy. 
chocolate. Okay, Kase, you know this chocolate. Again, chocolate, right? You know chocolate? Choco said chocolate. Chocolate. Move in. You got that one. Now, how about giving your mom, grandma, you know, if you're a boy, your girlfriend, some what? Flores, right? Give them some what? Some flowers. Flores. I say flores. Muy bien. Flores. Okay? Flores. So now also, if you don't have chocolate, you can give them any kind of what? Candy. So the word for any kind of candy is going to be classes is one word. There are others. I say dulces. Dulces. Try it again. Dulces. Muy bien. Now let me hear you pronounce all your Valentine words you're going to try to use on Monday and show off everybody. Oh, I can do it in English and Spanish, huh? Muy bien. Let's go. Classe, let's go. I love you. Te quiero, te amo, te amo, te amo, te amo, o te quiero. Mm -hmm. Kiss, beso, beso, All right? Say, dame un beso, give me a kiss. Ha <laughs> dame un beso. Give a little extra thing you can say, mama, dame un beso, papa, dame un beso, papi, Mommy, dame, dame, dame. Dame means give me. Dame. Dame un beso. Good. You can go. Good. All right, classy. Now put the A here. Abrazo. I left off my A. Abrazo. Give yourself a big hug. Then give me, after you said dame un beso, then say, ooh, un abrazo. A hug too, okay? And class A here. Dia de San Valentin. Dia de San Valentin. And now if I say happy Valentine, then what word do I put in the front? Aha. Uh -huh. Feliz. So I say what? Feliz Dia de San Valentin. Mm -hmm. Feliz Dia de... Like I said, Feliz Navidad. It's Feliz Dia de San Valentin. Happy Valentine's Day to someone. Colors of the, of the, of the uh, actual holiday is rojo y blanco, or sometimes roja y blanca. Both are correct. Muy bien. Well, I say, mmm, chocolate. Chocolate. You know that just plain old chocolate. It's spelled the same way, pronounced differently. And you give the mom some what? A grandma? Girlfriend? Flores. Class A, some flores. Okay? And what do we have here, Class A? Some what? Dulces for candy. Dulces. All right, muy bien, Class A, muy bien. Now, we get to the good part now. We have to learn a scripture every month, okay? In the month of uh, February, it's very easy for you. You know, you are so, so scholars, I know. Not a problem. You're saying love is patient. Love is kind. All right, when you love someone, you have to be patient with them, and you need to be kind to them as well. But now that's in English. My focus is on what is español. See if you can say it in español. Huh? Let's see. El amor tiene paciencia y es bon... oh, bondadoso. Good, bondadoso. And it's from Primera. Well, we can't say one. We have to say First Corinthians, right? We don't say one. We say First Corinthians. Primera Corintios. Corintios. 13, 13, and 4. Okay, 4 is 4. Try it again. El amor tiene paciencia y es bondadoso. Primer Corintios 13, 4. Love is kind. Love is, I'm sorry, love is patient first, then love is kind. Okay, muy bien, one more time. Let's do it. I'm going to follow, follow the arrow. There's my little stick here, class A. El amor tiene paciencia y es bondadoso. Primer Corintios 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. Muy bien. Now, what you're going to do for anybody on Monday, or you can do this every day if you want to. Tell somebody, somebody this every day. Are you ready? Let's go. Te amo. I love you. All right, say? Te amo. I love you. Excellent, Classe. Now, make sure you say something good to somebody on Valentine's Day on Monday. All right, move in. Feliz Dia de San Valentin. Hasta la próxima clase. See you next class. Adios. Ciao.